Welcome back, everybody. You know, uh, ever since Donald Trump took office, he has been a bachelor in the White House. They say he's been lonely, uh, he's been isolated, he's put on weight, and <laughs> it's really starting to show. Here's Trump at the inauguration. Here's what he looks like now. Okay? <laughs> All right? Yeah. Yeah. But those bachelor days are over forever because this weekend, after almost five months of living apart, Melania Trump moved into the White House. It's like their second honeymoon, and for Donald, his fourth. <laughs> so, how are things going? Here to tell us, live via satellite from the White House, please welcome Melania Trump. It's an honor to have you with us. Thank you for joining us, Madam First Lady. My pleasure, Stephen. So, how are you adjusting to life in the White House? Oh, I couldn't be happier, see? <laughs> These are my happy eyes. It was so lonely in New York doing whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I called it my prison of freedom. <laughs> That sounds, that sounds lonely. Now, you were the only first lady in modern history not to move into the White House with the president. Why was that? Well, after the inauguration, Baron had to finish school. Then I had to wait for the Comcast guy to, to come turn off my cable. <laughs> but now, there is nothing. <laughs> no reason whatsoever why I shouldn't be in the White House. You could look for an excuse, but trust me, you will not find one. <laughs> Okay, well, that's nice. And, uh, well, uh, ma'am, now that you're living in the White House, I'm sure you're anxious to get started on the issue you talked about during the campaign. Oh, definitely. I cannot wait to start fighting... illiteracy? It was actually, uh, cyberbullying. Cyberbullying the illiterate. It's so cruel. Mm. They can't even read what these bullies are typing. That's... It's an inspiring message. So, uh, now they're down there. Are, are you all moved into the White House? Oh, yes. I brought everything I need for a long stay. A toothbrush. A toothbrush? Really? That's, that's it? Oh, no, no, no. I have a few other things, like this picture of the most cherished moment of marriage to my husband. <laughs> I, 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 I think that's actually... Isn't that you slapping away his hand in Israel? Fake news, Stephen. It wasn't a slap. His hands are so small, I thought it was mosquito. Okay. That checks out. Can't be too careful. Yes. Can't be too careful. Yes. And, of, okay. and of course, uh, I never go anywhere without my roll-away ladder. <laughs> so in case of emergency, I can escape from a second-floor window. With your husband. Okay. Well, you're arriving at the White House at a very dramatic time. After James Comey's testimony last week, some people are talking about impeachment. They are? Uh, I mean, they shouldn't say such things, Stephen. So y you expect your husband to serve out his entire term? Oh, yes. We will be together in the White House for 1,315 days, 11 hours, 55 minutes, and 20 seconds. Wow, that, that, that's pretty precise. Yes, and accurate. <laughs> but here's the thing. America took a vow, and Donald Trump is our president. For better or worse, for richer or even richer. <laughs> in sickness and in no health care. <laughs> and we must honor that, no matter how often America fantasizes about being with Justin Trudeau. <laughs> We stay. We make the best of it. And you'll find, in your greatest moments of doubt, you can always drink. <laughs> make America grape again. Melania Trump, everybody. Madam First Lady, what an honor to have you. We'll be right back with Olivia Wilde. Stick around.